Hey everybody, John here. Today we're going to go over a cool patch I put together in Harmor. Uh, this probably works pretty well with a trance lead or maybe a trance rhythm. Kind of a super style with a little phasing going on as well. So if you have Harmor, load it up here and I'll select... I have a default patch already initiated here, so we're starting from scratch. So if you're on a different preset, load it up to default and let's get cracking. So the first thing I kind of like to do for this sound specifically... I'll go stick here on the A channel, and I'll bring my unison order up to 7, and then on the B channel, I just always make that one, that one up to 9. So on the A channel, we're going to be using a saw, and on the B channel, we're going to be using a square. So put that over there to the right, and let's see what we have so far. So we're getting kind of close. It's kind of getting there. What I like to do as well is let's bring up a little bit of phasing, let's say maybe 3. 30% and then just right click this and hit copy to part A and let's turn this B on here Now we want to get a little bit of lows in there, so let's go over here and select B and then let's crank this button up to 2 So there we already have kind of our bass sound that we're going for and now let's work on the envelopes So it doesn't matter if you're on A or B because I copied the same envelope so let's turn this envelope on and let's sync this to the tempo. So let's grab this little note here, bring that all the way to the left. And since this is in tempo, this thick line here is going to be the division of bars. So I'll bring this a little bit over here, maybe a little bit above halfway. And then the release, I'll bring this about a half a bar and then make this tension not as not so slopey like it is there. And once we have this, we can select this down arrow here and then copy to part B. So, so we have our contour going already right there. Now let's jump a little bit into effects. Actually, before we go into effects, I want to shave off a little of that top end. Let's go maybe down to 90% and bring up this resolution, or not resolution, there's resonance up maybe about 20%. And let's copy this to the other parts as well. <laughs> Little small move, but I think it makes a difference. And we also want to use a little bit of vibrato. Let's see. Let's turn off B, so we're just listening to A. It's a little too much. Maybe 20. Yes, yeah, so, uh, let's go a little lower. Maybe 17. And then right click that and copy to part B, and let's turn B back on. All right, now, uh, oh, also, this here at the top left, this random button, let's drag this to left maybe about 50%, and then copy that to part B as well. All right, so let's go into our effects and spice this bad boy up a little bit. So let's start off with a little bit of delay. Let's turn this on, and we can keep this on Pong. That's totally fine. Let's bring this input level from 50%, maybe to like, 57 not too much more but a little bit and here on the filter let's bring this up let's say maybe about 150 to 200 around that range 176 seems okay and we'll bring this high cut down to probably maybe what 2k -ish or something like that let's see how that sounds <laughs> Sounds okay, maybe a little bit more feedback. Let's see what 40 sounds like. All right, this sounds like it's pretty good. And let's take this time down to two, so it's a little bit of a quicker delay. And a little bit of reverb as well. So with this filter, let's bring this low cut up to maybe the same, about one, 170 hertz or so. And the top end, let's bring this down to about 2K-ish. Bring down the diffusion a little bit and let's get a little bit more wet. All right, about 60%.
turn our compression to heating and then let's bring up a little of the highs maybe about 60 percent and the mids is about 60 percent and let's drag the lows down to about 45. <laughs> Bring up the amount to maybe 65 or 66. That sounds good. And I also like to add a little bit of distortion, and I like to use the bit jam down here at the bottom. And before you, you'll notice, a lot of that top end is cut, and that's because this filter is already predetermined at about 13K. Let's bring that up to maybe about 17 or 16-ish. Bring the amount up to maybe 60. And let's bring the asymmetry down to 100% stereo. You can see that on the left-hand side up there. And that's essentially the majority of this patch. There's a lot of different knobs and buttons you can play around with to kind of tailor it into your own kind of sound, but... I find this one you can use for a lot of stuff like I've been playing throughout the video. Or you can use it maybe like a low end, something creepy. sounds good there as well. Also, if you wanted to, you can click this gear here, select this little wrench icon, put an arpeggiator, like an up-down on it. Let's bring this time to maybe two, and bring the gate down a little bit, and then you can play a cool chord. Or you can also do this. Sounds, sounds kind of strange, doesn't it? So yeah, let's turn that arpeggiator off. And this is basically the gist of the patch. I hope you guys learned maybe a little bit of something. It's not that complicated to make and Harmer makes great patches if you spend the time and kind of get to know it. And yeah, so hopefully use this patch in some of your songs and yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in another video.